Here we're taking a look at a John Paris Superior Q. The Superior Q is a Q from the standard range um, of John Paris Qs, and it's a design that's been around for a good fair few years, so there's many of these about. It's a very attractive and very popular design, and it's also one of the more expensive of the standard range due to the amount of splicing that it has on it. Quick peek at the badge, you can see that the badge here is actually a little bit worn. Um, like it was a queue that was very well looked after but had been enjoyed and played with quite a bit um, but there was nothing too much um, to worry about there as we go on we can have a look at the the queue butt here and you get a chance to see the design um, if we go up to the, the top here we can see that the the main splicing is black ebony and on top of that black ebony we have a white veneer a burgundy veneer and then splices of olive wood now this olive wood was quite brown and actually kind of quite warm it was had quite a bit of age to it It had always been well waxed well looked after um, now the olive olive wood can vary quite a bit in kind of color and also grain pattern um, so you may well see other superior cues that may look like it's a completely different wood but I can assure you it's always olive wood also one of the points to get uh one of the points to remember is not to confuse this with the supreme queue another queue in the standard john paris range uses olive wood and the same color veneers but it only has a single face in front splice see this queue is spliced all the way around the kind of the cheaper queue with the single splice is called the supreme queue still a very nice queue um, but don't get the two confused. As we zoom out, you have to excuse me, these uh, photos are in portrait. We get another glimpse here of the, the queue, and you can see the tip of the, the splices and the veneers there, very nice. And here you can see that it's a jointed queue, as I mentioned, it's always a three quarter jointed queue, hand spliced as with all John Paris queues, with exception of the master queue. Now, being part of the standard range, um, you get to choose the weight, the size, the tip diameter, um, but you do not get to specify the, the chevrons. And you can see here, this was another ash shaft. Um, I always tend to try and play with ash. Um, and you can see there's a couple of chevrons there, um, evenly spaced, generally a nice piece of craftsmanship. One of the things I will say is we can see it here, um, and you'll also see it better in the next picture is the area beneath the tip and beneath the ferrule actually has the chevron kind of extending into there some people may well find that off-putting um, and some people may well find it a bit of an aid to cue in and you can see that again here if we have a look you'll be able to see that actually you can you can see how the wood grain of the ash chevron actually um, goes in underneath the ferrule so that runs all the way up to the ferrule like I say some people it might be a bit of a hindrance others actually might enjoy that and use it as a bit of a an aim aiming guide so we've got another shot of the tip and uh, a shot of the underside of the the queue here so the underside is what we refer to as the side when the badge is facing um, when you play with the badge facing up you'll have typically see the chevrons um, on the shaft the opposite side of that is the underbelly or the underside and here you can see that uh, a little patch of of grain there and then the chevrons reverse so almost they point back down towards the cue hand away from the bridge hand which is to be expected on many of the cues let's just uh have a quick peek here and the superior Q, I had it. Um, always like to try and get the the extensions with the cues that I buy. So here we had the genuine um, John Paris mini butt, black ebony, and also the uh, long telescopic extension. And I think if we look from from this angle here, you get a chance to see uh, the badge. And also what I'd like to, to point out actually here is the extension type. Now this shows me that it was a genuine John Paris extension due to this longer nosed, I would describe it, um, joint type. Where actually you'll see some other um, 
mini butt joints and extension joints that look similar to this but are actually a fair bit shorter um, the john paris genuine ones always have this longer brass nose and a very short threaded area you can get some um, aftermarket uh, mini butts and extensions that will fit the john paris joint um, but it's always best to try and um, have the genuine ones if you can they're not cheap but they are worth it and uh, it's always nice to have um, a full range of accessories and everything that you need to help you around the table hopefully you found that useful the john paris superior q very very lovely q you know what to look out for now um, if you enjoyed the video please give it a like any questions about this queue, another queue, any queue questions in general, please go ahead and ask them here. Um, and if you think somebody else may well find this useful, please feel free to share it. Um, thank you very much and check out the other videos. I've got stacks of, of pictures of queues that I've had over the years that I'm really willing to, to share and help people to understand the, the design features and some of the beauty of these handcrafted um, pieces of sporting equipment. Cheers.